What's up guys? Sam here from Left Stick Studios. We finally got our release of the E3 demo to the Kickstarter backers of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. We did play through this the other day, you can check out the video, link is in the description. And I wanted to just sit down with you guys for a moment and really share what I was thinking about that now that I've played through it and we're getting our first look at what Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is going to be. Now, the demo wasn't very long, but it did give us some good insights into what we can expect from the full game. Story-wise, we didn't really get anything. I mean, it was all on a boat, so we can kind of imply that Miriam was on her way to somewhere, which we could also assume is the castle from, you know, all the concept art and the information we've gotten from Igarashi and the development team. Moving on from that, since story gave us nothing, uh, I just want to talk about the visuals. Holy crap, this game looks amazing. I mean, from just the character models to the backgrounds to like the little areas you could see through like shards of the boat missing of all the waves and stuff in the background. The enemy out like the final boss, it busts through the wall at some point and it's just super colorful and demonic looking at the same time. And not to mention just the animations. I mean, for an E3 demo, they're smooth. There's, a, you know, a handful of glitches here and there, there's some clipping and whatnot, but everything has this really nice paintbrush smooth uh, style to it, and all of the enemies run at a smooth frame rate, they all have their own unique animations and attacks, I mean even just the explosion of color and shards and all of that whenever you unlock a new ability. Like, first time I saw it, it scared the crap out of me. I wasn't ready for it. It's just this blast of stuff that all just absorbs into her. She gets impaled by it and absorbs it. Just It looks fantastic. I mean, just visual-wise, I'm already completely in love with this game. And we've only seen, you know, a brown boat. I can't wait until we actually get into the castle and actually start seeing, you know, different residential areas of the castle. We get outside the castle, because you know that's going to happen, you know lofts and different things like that get on the roof from, from what we've seen which segues into you know gameplay it feels like if you've ever played Castlevania Aria of Sorrow on the Game Boy Advance it feels like it follows most closely with that um, random enemies that you kill pretty much it from what it appears every enemy has an ability that you can learn and to, Depending on the enemy, it's unique. So for every enemy that you kill, you can there's a random chance that you'll receive the ability that they have and can give you. In the demo, I got the um, fire ability, which it looked like it was like story important, or at least I had to get it. It was set for me to get it. Uh, I got the flail ability, which was my favorite. That did the most damage, and it had like a huge radius on it, so it could hit enemies in front and behind. And I got the ice ability, which just like shot a ball of ice at enemies. It didn't really, I didn't care for it, it didn't do much. There were also like five slots. There was the like main attack ability, there was a sub defense ability, there was another one that we didn't know, and there was the uh, uh, just random buff ability. I had it upgrade one of my, it was like calm or something like that, I'm not sure. It really looks like it's going in a step in the right direction. There was even one area of the boat they followed with classic Castlevania style. I just hit a random wall, it collapsed, and there were a couple chests behind it. It really, even though we haven't seen a lot, it's going in the right direction. It's going in the direction that we want out of a Castlevania game. It's going in the direction that we freaking put five million dollars into this bloodstained for. So, you know, with this demo, it really does look like Igarashi and his team are going in the direction that we want Bloodstain to go, following in the Castlevania footsteps. And you know what? That makes me so happy, and that should make the whole community happy that we're getting everything that we've been asking for. And I cannot wait to see more come out of this. I can't wait to really dive into this game when it comes out in full and explore these areas and get everything that we can out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, like, comment, subscribe, look for more, and we will be playing Bloodstained when it comes out in a couple years, and look forward to more thoughts and impressions, maybe more information on Bloodstained if it gets released, if there's another demo or whatnot. 
Kickstarter campaigns, you know, you can get some unique things with it, so it'll be interesting to see. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Laters.